boy Phil Touch here and welcome back to another video man and today we're going to be checking out Inform 88 rated Edin Dzeko, the Manchester City former legend and also top goal scorer now in the Serie A, he has had a fantastic season over in Italy this year for Roma after a pretty poor season last year but today I'm going to be doing a review of him and unfortunately this is going to be a different style of review to what I usually do, this is going to have to be a voice over the top job because basically my computer crashed when I recorded the first hour of footage on top of that I've next gone into it my audio hasn't recorded so what I'm gonna have to do is just talk over the top of it unfortunately this isn't one of my best videos but you're just gonna have to put with it's one of those more straightforward reviews where I give you an honest answer and like the usual crap I usually spout so his card he's got two star skill moves four star weak foot on top of that six feet four inches tall on top of that as well he's 31 years of age and has medium and medium work rates could perhaps be improved if he did have high medium or high low would make him a perfect striker in my opinion his pace stats aren't too shabby Alonso, he's got 74 acceleration and 70 sprint speed which is better than his earlier versions. His shooting though is where he really stands out, 96 positioning, 93 finishing and 99 shot power overall is just absolutely unreal. 79 long shots are not that great outside the box but still not too bad, 85 volleys and also 80 penalties. He's also a little bit of a different striker in the fact that he's considering his size, he's got 86 dribbling overall, 93 reactions, 93 ball control and 88 dribbling which with me is just top top draw unfortunately his agility is only 69 and his balance is 50 but that's where you're going to get with a guy who's six feet four inches tall his heading's not too shabby alonso either 99 heading accuracy which is fantastic that's what you look for in a guy who's six feet four inches tall his vision as well is also very very surprisingly good 87 vision 90 short passing and 81 curve which makes him seem like a fantastic striker in my personal opinion and also on top of that 86 physicality 86 strength and 95 strength which for me makes him a superb option he's a different kind of striker than what you typically get on all the team the, most of the time you seem to play against really fast strikers catching teams on the counter attack Dzeko isn't going to be that type of player but for me he is just one of those raw finishers a guy who's going to pick up a goal from pretty much nothing you can put a ball into him he's going to win headers he's going to finish shots and that's exactly what he seems to be able to do when I've played him especially I loved his 87 card but this one seems even better now he cost me 51,000 coins on PlayStation I was literally one of the first people to actually buy this card he came straight on the market and I thought yeah I'm gonna snap him up for 51k he's currently going for about 50k on Xbox and also on PS4 so you can pick him up I'm recording this as of 8 o'clock around the day he was released so this was the opponent I played against in this fixture an unbelievable side this is what I describe as a Jim Bowen come and have a look what he could have won on bullseye he's basically offering here a speedboat and that's what team I could have had but instead I decided to play with my side instead with Edin Dzeko full of people who are about costing about 400 coins but this was a superb game for Dzeko considering he's playing as 87 Koulibaly an unbelievable Chiellini as well fantastic defenders very strong very quick yet he was able to do this against him he just goes past them breezes past them look they can't get near him and then when he gets thrown goal he's going to score those sort of chances eight times out of ten and I think that's where he stands out as being an absolutely fantastic striker he's a different kind of breed he's a pure finisher and look he's not the quickest and I'll admit that myself but when he gets for on goal he's going to score those sort of finishes and that for me is absolutely top draw just look fantastic turn he's got two defenders around him he just skips around him yes the guy's defending wasn't great but still a lovely finish there from Edin Dzeko and he's got so many aspects of his play which I just find so so lovely look he's got fantastic strength he's able to just bully defenders he'll take people on and because of his size he can actually hold off a large amount of defenders unfortunately their Chiellini gets back pretty well there for him but for me he's just a top top striker I would recommend getting this guy and I reckon his price is going to drop well below the 50k mark as you can see here He's also called head in Jekko because he wins headers you get it. He's called head in Jekko He's a great dribbler and I really do like him Unfortunately, he does have a couple of negative points especially his pace Also, he likes to drop a little bit too deep for my liking Perhaps if you had a certain chemistry card on him, you may improve in terms of his positioning But he sometimes drifts a little bit out wide sometimes just drops a little bit too deep and because he's not quick enough he can't catch up with a play especially you've got a winger like Cuadrado bombing on but for me he's a fantastic striker I imagine his price is going to dip massively
massively because this week you're going to see the first introduction of the brand new team of the season players so he's going to be in packs throughout this week I reckon he'll probably drop to around 25k mark and for that price you're going to get one hell of a striker there you go that's my review of Sheko. I absolutely love him also a big shout out to Ray Mondi at right back he's got 56 pace but absolutely bossed that entire team and we actually won that fixture by one goal to nil courtesy of Sheko. hopefully you guys have enjoyed please like subscribe check out the subscription below and let me know who I should review next down in the comment section below. I'll read about you.